uh, I've done, to promote my business, I've done trade shows, uh, whole life expos, chiropractic shows, I set up a booth and I film people. Uh, we take still pictures of you. And we have you look in the camera with a still face, which just kind of relax your face, and we make real clear that you know, don't have any social expression. And then we have you cover one side of your face like that. Am I looking in the camera? Shit, I don't know. Um, and then the other side, and, and we look at the two different sides so you can get a sense of how different you are from side to side because in right-handed people, the right eye takes things in as your father taught you how to take them, the masculine. The left side takes it in as your mother taught you how to do it, like the feminine side. Uh, how do you feel about things, sort of. And we, we do that and then we look uh, as best as we can with no judgment, no criticism, and no conclusions on why you're there. I, mean, I was doing a show in San Diego and a woman, we filmed her, and there were just a few people in the booth and on her left side, I believe it was her left side, I'm pretty sure I don't have the films anymore, but one of the people in the audience said, oh my God, is she mean. And <laughs> this woman, <laughs> I thought she was going to take a personal, and she did, she kind of looked and she said, oh yeah, wow, that is so true. And I said, who are you? She said, no, I'm married to her. <laughs> and it was her husband that was saying this. And I thought, boy, this is going to cause a relationship thing. But they seem to be okay with each other and real curious about each other. And so we filmed her. We talked about it. And I didn't have my book out yet. But we did, you know, look at the possibility that just noticing that. Because she didn't know she was there. It was one of those unconscious things. That, that meanness was on the surface and really, really visible and viable and... Uh, and when it was pointed out, it, her system did smooth out and soften. But then her mom was in the same uh, audience. And so we filmed her mom. And it was a real similar source of meanness on the same side. It was, it was fascinating to look at. It was almost identical, uh, aged some. But I said to the woman who had been out first, the daughter, I said, do you have daughters? And she said, that's exactly what I was thinking. She said, is this what I'm teaching my kids? And your kids learn by what you do, not by what you say. I've said for years, I cannot say to my kids, grow up and be happy. Daddy didn't do it, but you can do it. I've got to look and see how to be happy, how to live my life, how to do what I want this lifetime so that my kids can see how to do it. And this woman saw that. And what we're taught, we're taught by our parents, by and large, most people, and we're taught... Uh, relative levels of inefficiencies and um, just not really how to live a magnificent life because not many even people who are living a magnificent life are not living a magnificent life because they're as I said earlier connecting the dots they're listening to that little voice inside their head the mind which is reptilian by nature and what we do in my seminars is we break apart those familiar patterns those things that you don't know you're doing the unconscious things that way you're living your life we open it up so you can look consciously at how you've been living your life and then see whether or not you want to make it different uh, because some people look at it and go no I don't I this miserable person that I am uh, somehow I'm finding value in it and I'm not going to look around to see if it's different I'm going to stay right here but how whatever you choose to do that's your business but if you want to move to magnificence you can't move there unless you know where you are and a lot of people are unaware of where they are until they get film and audio and video feedback as to where they are in their lives. Uh, www.micpeakperformance.com. Have a really fun day.